Welcome to your Dating Women Radio Show excerpt and preview. Remember, you can find us 24-7 at DatingWomenRadioShow.com, and we encourage you to call the show with the numbers you see on the screen. On this week's show, airing Thursday, January 16th at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, we read a You Changed My Life letter, and it's a good one. He sent his wedding pictures in and says he's married now due to the system. And now your excerpt. He met her on Match.com, and she blew him off. Then he encountered her months later in the real world. Let's listen in. You meet a girl on Match.com, and you and you contact her, and you say, "I'd like to take you out. I would like to take you out to Starbucks to see if we have a match." Okay, and you do that with the email. That's fine. But when the girl contacts you, you use the phone because she's being the aggressor. Okay, this is kind okay. of an advanced class. You're not supposed to know this. And I'm sorry if I came down hard on you this last this last segment. But when the girl comes at you, say, uh, give me your phone number so I can call you. We'll talk on the phone. Mm-hmm. Okay, but let's get past that. Now you bump into her at a sports bar, and she says... She said, I remember you from Nash.com. So I, uh, I didn't even remember her. So I took that as a buying signal, so I was joking, making a laugh. So I tried to close the deal by asking her phone number, yeah. but she did not give it to me. What was her excuse? She said, why is everyone asking me number? It was singles event, so there was a whole bunch of guys besides me. You're, I just asked you for the for your phone number, and you want to know why everybody in the world wants to take you out that's a male? Is that what you're asking me? Carry it to the ridiculous. What do you mean everybody's asking me out? And what does that right. got to do with you? What does that got to do with you? So what did you say back to her? I just laughed. I laughed. I had a good night. I laughed. No, no. What, then, what I, see, what, what, what I would do is this, because this would make uh, you stronger. Just say, uh, how many guys asked you out here tonight? How many, how, many uh-huh. times, how many guys asked you for the phone number in this place? Mm-hmm. And she says, six. Well, wait a minute. There's 100 guys in this sports bar. You said every, uh-huh. every, guy, you said every guy asked you out. Now, which is it? Is it 100 guys or 60? I'd rub it in her face a little bit. And okay. then, then, then walk off. But I want okay. you, I want you a little engaging there by showing her you're not buying into her bojo story. Every guy okay. asked me out. See, when a girl, when a girl says, well, why would you ask me out? This is your pet line. Because I want to bring happiness into your life. Why else would I ask for your phone number? Uh, That's what you come uh, back with. And then you smile okay. and then you walk off. Uh, okay. So, Doc, let me finish the story. This is what happened. So that same Friday, she messaged Message me from Match.com, basically saying uh, uh, she find me very playful compared to my profile. I didn't respond to that, but now today, no, no. What did she, she say? Me, what did she say? She said I am very playful compared to my profile. And what that you, same night. No, no, you don't say. You know what you do? You do delete. I did not respond. Delete. I did not respond. Perfect, perfect. Because you're so, not being but, in, you're not being inconsiderate. Because you asked this girl for the home phone number, and she said, no, right. there's nothing, there's no reason for us to ever meet in the next 120 years under any circumstances. Mm-hmm. Even if we're on a desert island and everybody in the world is dead, there's no she, reason for us to get together. One shot per girl per lifetime. Okay. That was it. Even if she uh, emailed me today two separate times asking me out for no, no, and she, she didn't, gave me a number. You asked her for the number, and she said no. The first time we okay. gauge interest Hold level on. is we ask them, What's your, what's your, what's your number? And when they give okay. you anything other than the number, you know, 800-404-2644, 760, bup, 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 anything less than that, once they say no, there is no reason in the world to give this girl anything. Anything, is- ever. Nothing. This yeah, is what right. you gotta got get. It. So now she's coming back at you, which means she's a loon. She's what? She's a loon. Nutcase. Wacko. <laughs> Psycho, That's nutcase, right. yeah, because here right. she turns you down, and now she yeah. wants to go out later, inconsistent yeah. behavior, as the cuckoo clock said, cuckoo, cuckoo, <laughs> whack job, nuts. That's the answer I needed, thank you. You got it, June. Thank Hang you. in there, man. Just be like oh, yeah. be like that team that was behind 28 points. You don't yeah, give up on like- the system. You keep trying and trying and trying, and eventually, all of a sudden, you're going to get to that right girl, and things are going to go click, 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 and you're going to say, finally, I found somebody who's clinically sane, self-reliant. She's, she's got healthy self-esteem. She loves her mom and dad, and I'm going to keep this girl 
because I got the system, and when I get her, I'm not going to walk away from her. That's the most important thing. 